Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. This video is to bring you a closer look at the RCI. This is their part number 15BS-01-2060. This is what they call an economy strike. Uh, this would be a typical strike that you're going to see installed in a wood frame, uh, three flat apartment building, exterior door into the unit, intercom system, wood frame, light gauge, metal clad door, typical application for that. This is fail secure, so in the absence of power, it's going to be locked. This is going to work between uh, with voltage AC between 11 and 16 volts. That's because the way that the solenoid is construction, constructed, it will tolerate a small variance in terms of voltage, and that would be typical. Your ter two terminals are there being AC voltage. There's not, uh, polarity is not a requirement. It's the decal on the unit itself. Let's see if we can get the camera to focus on that. got your amp rating that's there so you'll know exactly how to power it and the amp rating will slightly fluctuate as the voltage fluctuates it as well just simply make sure that you're providing an adequate amount of voltage ohms are listed there should that be important for your application screws are uh, included uh, there are three screws total not sure why you only need two We've got an extra one of each in there, apparently. This strike is so typical and common that they don't even include installation instructions with it. That's the bottom line. Wood frame application. This is going to uh, require that the latch bolt of your lock be no more than a half of an inch. It will not work with any bolt, latch bolt that's going to be longer than half of an inch. And you can see that you are, we're stopping short of coming up to half of an inch. And that's because you'll have a small margin between the edge of the door and the frame. That's that eighth of an inch. So the depth of the keeper is three eighths. If you try to put more latch bolt into the keeper, it will simply bind and the latch bolt keeper, the strike keeper will not you know, reliably release. So you've got to have an eighth of an inch margin and you can't have the, the latch bolt burying into the bottom of the keeper. Uh, let's take some dimensional properties. If you're going to mortise this into a wood frame, um, here we go. Overall height of the faceplate, about five and seven eighths. Overall width, about an inch and a quarter. And you can make this work in a steel frame. You can certainly make this work in a, an aluminum frame as well. But this strike you're going to see in wood frames. Thickness of the faceplate, 0.115. Point one one five. Top of the plate to the center of the strike, or to the keeper, I should say, forgive me. Looks like we're about an inch and three quarter or so. Top of the plate to the top of the keeper, looks like it's about an inch and an eighth. Okay. Height of the body, really nothing serviceable in there at all. You should have no reason to have to open that cover up. About two and 15 sixteenths. Overall, overall from the face plate, let's say, about an inch and... 5 sixteenths. Width of the body itself looks like it's about 13 sixteenths. Okay. Typical item. Finally, there's a link below this video to the manufacturer's page where you can pull up not only all of the RCI products that we sell, but a link to the manufacturer's website as well as a link to the full product catalog. Strikes like this are incredibly common. It would be a stock item. Clients would walk in and it's literally that light duty or, or small volume residential application where you'll really see these. Um, it's going to be for those applications that do not require a lot of demand. It's an inexpensive strike. Um, strikes like this are known to be somewhat easy to break or to vandalize because they're not built so robustly. But in terms of standard, easy, no vandalism, no abuse application, they're really just great for what they do. You could easily have this on a low volume type, um, you know, way to uh, permit access into a room within an office complex, let's say. You might need to control somebody. And being AC, uh, alternating current, it will buzz when it's energized. 
and that's how people know oh okay push dc current is silent so if you have a strike and you're not sure if it's ac or dc if it buzzes it's most likely alternating current but not for sure but it most likely is you'll want to get your voltmeter and test um, if you're not sure what power is coming to the striker, if you're replacing one and it's got the same sort of dimensional properties as this, but you're not sure of the voltage, put your voltmeter on that uh, power coming out of the power supply or the transformer to make sure that it's going to work within um, the 11 to 16 VAC for this unit. If you have any questions on this uh, RCI 15BS or any other RCI product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you.